so when i came here like i was healthy and i was cheerful i was and there was like a lot of dream in my eyes she came here uh with big dreams big hopes but uh after a few days uh, she started uh, experiencing some symptoms uh, like uh, nausea uh, fatigue and other stuff at first when i my, my doctor told me that yes i have chronic kidney disease i couldn't believe i was i and then i i was like what i was like thundered and i was shocked and i couldn't hold to hold my tears because uh, i came here with lots of dreams yeah, so international student was hosting a meet and greet function and at that event first time i saw momita because she was so vibrant and she was performing a local um, uh, bangladeshi dance the last week when i talked with her she was saying she is getting very lethargic there are days she doesn't even feel like to get up from the bed that means for her to live a healthy life she needs a kidney transplant as soon as possible when we uh, learn about it uh, we we both are shocked we are uh, broken down like uh, we uh, we we are uh, seeing dark in our eyes momita's uh, boyfriend is currently providing the care she needs uh, but he is also an international student so the community needs to come together to help them maybe they will need ride to go to the hospitals maybe she needs some mental support uh maybe they need you know uh time to time some home cooked meal i know you know both of them being international student both of them doing a part time work and with fighting with the chronic kidney disease at the young age of 22 i have never seen in my life a patient uh, at 22 with end stage renal failure so i think you know our purpose when she came to me uh, told her story and how she is failing and how rapidly that was deteriorating i couldn't sleep i felt like you know that we should do together how likely is it that she's going to get a kidney so if you look into the statistics you know in canada you know uh, e- every year about 4600 people is waiting in the organ donation list kidney at uh, least um uh while waiting uh, unfortunately about 260 people will die uh current wait time is 4 years uh that's a really really long um with the dialysis you know uh people can stay okay uh, for 4 to 5 years uh if you have a kidney transplant easily um the livelihood can be extended to 20 years uh, or even more and the you know science is you know uh, improving every year um so the compared to any other country um in canada the wait time is high compared to any other so our donation rate is about 20 per million which is very very low in pi uh, right now um you know we have explicit um, consent i think it could be transferred to the implied consent format 
Uh, I think um, there like are on ways the driver's license. On the driver license, yeah, the organ donation. So you could provide consent. You know, if you don't say no, um, then it means that you know you want to don't you know donate your organ. Mm -hmm. uh, but overall, I think we need to do more uh, and. Uh, build awareness among our community, among the whole country uh, for organ donation. With one kidney, people can live very healthy and normal life. Uh, so we need to make sure that people understand it. So what would you like to happen right now if somebody said, okay, what do you want? How can we help you? So if I get the genie of Aladdin, first I wish that I, I want to live. I want to see the world. I want to explore. I want many more days. <laughs>